This is the next step in building the 180 gigawatt nuclear power plant. So I have the preparation of all the materials set up. I have my waste handling set up. I've got my reactors set up. I just spent a bunch of time working out how I was going to build my fuel rods and interconnect them because I need to send fuel out to all of the reactors. And basically that means I've got belts coming in from here and getting split out. I decided to not build the one to five splitters. I'm not actually sure they work properly if you're sending in one thing at a time. I think maybe you end up um, going out the, the five outputs and the six output is a feedback to the main input. And I suspect that when you hit that, its unit is going to go out to the next one in line. So it's going to round robin through six of them and the input goes to the next one out. So instead what I'm doing is I'm going to run all 10 belts. And you can see the, the edges of the belts here. So these belts are not going to carry very much fuel. They pick, pick up one piece of fuel and run it out. Each one will serve as three reactors. And each one will be, will be constructed by one blueprint. And I set up these blueprints, these two blueprints, just to make it easier for me to run this group of five belts all the way across underneath the, the reactors. Uh, they needed to be elevated at a certain height and I wanted to bring them out just shy of the edge. And that's so that when I put two of these next to each other, I can just clip it like that, boom, boom, double click like that and it will connect them up. You'll see that in the rest of this too. Uh, we have two blueprints that we're using. Rather than try to use a blueprint that stacks two of the manufacturers vertically, I thought, you know, I can, I can spend the extra space. So we have this manufacturer. This is going to take four of my ingredients, including uranium, and turn it into the encased uranium cells. And I've already said it's overclocking and so on. Um, and I'm using the vertical stack method of sneaking my materials in. And this is gonna come from the right. I'll show you how that wraps up fairly soon. And on the other side, we just, you know, we have an output here, which is going to head off to the left to go to the other manufacturer. And then we're forwarding four more lines. The other blueprint is for the manufacturer that turns out the fuel rods themselves. This is uh, 1.44 per minute, <laughs> enough to feed three reactors, very slow. So we're going to take all these inputs, including the encased uranium cell that we just built and some very low rate ingredients and it will turn into fuel, which will go out here. And I decided to run the fuel rods underneath the, the deck. So everything's above deck except for the fuel rods, which makes sense because I am delivering the fuel rods under the deck through all the, all the machinery. I considered trying to do it above deck, but there was a problem here. We have the fluid above and then we have input and output. If one of these had been on the other side, it might have worked better. But with the input and the output like this, it gets a little difficult. I needed to run one level and one would be at half height. That's awkward. Could do it, but it'd be really crazy. And then I'd have to snake them through and, and work out how to uh, differentiate between my input and my uh, waste management and my, and my fuel management. So this is the hole where I'm going to put these guys. It's going to be five blueprints long by four wide. So each set of three reactors will have two blueprints here feeding it. Our inputs, um, 
the main input for the first manufacturer, the one that, that not the one that produces the, the rods, but the other one, uh, it needs quick wire. It needs a lot of quick wire. It needs basically three full belts or four mostly full belts of quick wire. And I have started to turn that bus up here. I started to think, how am I going to get 1,800 quick wire per minute? I just thought, well, let's take all four of these and let's just keep them on four separate belts. And you can probably see the solution in the distance. Basically, I am going to always take from the bottom belt and from one blueprint to the next, I'm going to shift everybody down one and do a merge. Each one of the incoming belts has more than what's required for two of them. Okay, so there's going to, you know, you'll see how it, how it lays out there, but there will be basically two manufacturers taking from quick wire, and that will be 80% of a belt, and the other 20% goes forward, and then we have this mechanism so where we split some off from the guy above it and bring it down. And what I've actually said here is that my priority output is straight and my overflow is down. So once we get five of these wide, then this guy will be feeding into the last one. And then we come back here and the second to last one, we're taking from here, it's gonna take from these two and so on. And it all arranges itself so that basically I, I uh, fill my belts to the end and then everybody gets refilled from the guy above them and the guy on the bottom ends up feeding the, uh, the build. Let's put these in place and see how it hooks up. Uh, first of all, I have a distribution mechanism for my materials here. It's the south side material distribution. Okay. I'm gonna let that finish building so we can see what we're doing. So we need to deliver quick wire, silica, sulfur and uranium and the total sulfur and uranium those are 600 per minute sulfur and 600 per minute uranium so those can come in on a single belt and silica is only 360 so he's a single belt so those are the bottom three and then up above we have the thing i was talking about with the quick wire I'm going to trim off stuff that I know I don't need. Okay, so we don't need anything downstream of here because we know this is the last one. We know that we don't need the top three here. Like that. And I know I don't need these two. So that feed, that just carries the four that are going into the last one. And I need the four that goes into the last one, plus I need the fifth one for backfilling of the belt from above to get a full belt for the last one. So we need those and we do not need these. And that was too aggressive. I blew up there. Let's, fortunately, I can go in here and just say delete that. Now I do have to delete the or connects here. When you place a blueprint, it doesn't reconnect. Let's 
try this again. I should probably trim before I connect it up so I can do this easily enough. So, what do I not need? I don't need this guy or this guy, this guy. I do need this guy because he's feeding in there. So we need to be very careful not to over trim. I think that's all I can trim off. Uh, I think in the interest of not messing myself up too bad, oh, <laughs> over here. Let's make sure we don't connect up. I'm going to make these last little nubby connections uh, absolutely last in case I have to, you know, like get rid of this for some reason. I can put it back in place and not have to worry about whether I've got the interconnects done or not. So the next thing we have is this guy. This is the uranium fuel unit. Now he's going to connect up to the south side distribution. He's not using it, but he is forwarding it onward. So you see we've got these four. Uh, I have put them through mergers here. This was the easiest way to assure that I had the right vertical layout and heading them out. So these will need to be connected this way. Let's go ahead and just drop everything in place. Here are our infused uranium cells. Two. Ah. Yeah, I couldn't see doing this and having to tear up a blueprint that was misplaced. There's a lot going on inside these guys. Lots of fiddly little belt work and it turns into a lot of independent things that you would need to rip up. And to cap off the front end, we have a north side distribution, very much like the south side distribution. Although it's simpler because we don't have any ingredients coming in on the north side that are massive quantity. Nothing, nothing like the thing we have to do over on the south side for the for the uh, quick wire. So what I haven't done yet is hooked up these five inputs and these three inputs to the subassemblies, and I also need to arrange for drone ports to provide me with uh, uranium and I think it's sulfur, yeah, sulfur. But the reason why I wanted to stop and do this on a recording was to show that if you put these things close together, you know, uh, we do not have connections from blueprint to blueprint. So what I like to do is 
set up the blueprint so my header connects are just these minimum length belts, just like this. You can go through and just, if you place your mouse cursor in the right place, you can just, you double, you click once to say I'm building here, you click a second time to say the other end isn't very far. This is just double clicking. You do have to watch yourself though and not double click until you see that blue thing going to the right place. And I'm just gonna hook up the first one here. In fact, I think I'll just hook up this much of it. So it's that easy to get these clipped back and forth and repeat that out that way and repeat it out that way. Uh, now we have power we need to work with and that's easy enough. I'm going to grab power from there and bring it to the middle here and grab it to there. And you do this with all the pairs and then you hook them up and connect them up to power. So the rest of this is just running the larger belts around and getting the materials flowing in. So that's going to be in a different recording. Uh, I will come back when I have this set up and we can verify that everybody is working perfectly with no uranium going into the system. Uh, and at some point after I have done the best I can to spot check everything, I will light up a recording and I will turn on my uranium miner and we will stand outside the radiation cloud and we will see this start up. And no doubt there will be errors and I will have to restore from a save and try again and again and again and again. But we'll get there eventually. So that's it for this one.